All right, so you just bought your brand new 22 and newer Kawasaki KLR650, and you saved so much buying a KLR that instead of going with the KTM, that you're looking to add a couple more accessories just to kind of spice things up a little bit, add some comfort, add some controls. And so I'm here to give you my top things I would put on my KLR if I first got it that are under hundred bucks. So the first thing I would do is put a low profile drain bolt on your KLR. If you're familiar with the KLR, the stock drain bolt hangs out below the skid plate. It's the most exposed thing underneath your machine and you do not want to bash that thing in and break your cases. So the low profile magnetic drain bolt, it's an awesome upgrade to just give you peace of mind. Whether you go with an aftermarket skid plate or stick with the stock one, it's going to keep your cases safe on the bottom side. Now, the next thing is a tank bag. Uh, this is like a must have for me. I love having a tank bag. I mean, whether it's putting your phone, your camera, your chapstick, your knife, anything that you want to have quick access to, a tank bag is a must have. Um, I really like the Tusk small one. It fits really well on the KLR. It's got dividers, it's got bungees, it's got everything you want. It's even got a waterproof cover. So you're basically covered no matter where you're at and what you're doing. Next up is an extended shift lever. So again, if you're familiar with the KLR, the shift lever on these things is so close to the pegs that it's really hard to shift if you have boots on. And so there's a couple of companies that make extended shift levers. Most notably is the Tusk and IMS shift levers. Uh, we've got the IMS on this bike build and it just helps you get your boot under there. It helps you so you can actually shift, especially when you're in off-road terrain. Now, going along with that area of the bike, my next two accessories are foot pegs and hard mounted foot peg mounts. So again, with the 22 and newer KLRs, they're rubber mounted, which is great if you're doing a lot of commuting, but if you like to do serious off-road and you want a good connection to the bike, they're no bueno. So we've upgraded ours to the billet foot pegs. These are a bigger platform, they're more grippy, and they just give you a, the less fatigue on the longer rides and more grip. So if you are in off-road terrain, you don't have to worry about your boots getting wet and slipping off the pegs or anything like that. Also, the hard mounted foot peg mounts underneath. So again, the rubber mounting underneath there, it's basically just getting rid of those. It's an inexpensive accessory that gives you a more connected feel to your foot pegs because you don't have any vagueness or any flex in the pegs as you're riding around. Now, I'm gonna give you one bonus one, and that is rock straps. So I really like the rock straps. They're a flexible uh, strap, so you can really crank them down, keep things tight. So whether you've got a milk crate, a tail bag, some groceries, uh, you know, anything that you can think of to put on your top rack of your KLR. You've got some straps that you can hang on there, um, keep things tied down so you don't lose them on the freeway. And that's it. That is my top five accessories under hundred bucks that I think you are must haves for the KLR when you first get it. I'm curious, what are your top fives? Are, are they different? Are they the same? Is there anything different you'd put on your machine? Um, let's get that conversation down in the comments below. If you have questions about any of the parts that I talked about, or you wanna see this entire build and all the parts we put on our KLR, make sure and hit the link below, hit the description, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.